Welcome back to Let's Play Mad Max. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we've just installed a harpoon under the magnum opus. I don't know where it is, but it's apparently in there. Oh, right. Uh, it is on this side, isn't it? So I'll just get in on here. Metal monsters? Nope. Scrotus war boys put them up to mark their oh. turf. Oh. Bring them down for good. Ramming could damage up front, but it should work. Before I do that, let's take a good look at the scarecrow. Lie low here. Yeah, that's horrible. Confirmed. Is that on or off? Okay. No need to run the battery in the daytime, even if it does last forever. It's actually pretty good traction, considering we're running on sand. Okay, why is that happening? Oh, that was the threat. Oh, hey, there's a thing. Oh. Right, yeah, that's a thing. Physics is a thing. I guess he must have fixed it when I got out. I didn't see us take any damage there. I can feel the way we lose speed in these big dunes. I don't think we did take any damage. One day I'll remember that I'm on the other side. Oh, I can't even slide across the hood or anything. All right, it's hold. Why? Ah! What was that? That did take all its damage, too. Hi there! I'm going to run you over with my car, because you're idiots. Oh, okay. I have to admit, didn't see that coming. was not the correct button. It was, however, kind of funny. Oh, fuck, you're a... Sorry. I confused you for the other guy who'd been clinging to the car. It took me a couple of seconds to realize that I'm looking at a stove. How many items? Two. Hey, there's one. Okay, so unless you're actually building up speed, uh, running into guys can be a bad call. That's a toilet. No, it isn't. It's a chair with a tire in it. Hey! A thing happened. By the way, uh... I do like that they included the, uh, the leg brace and the design for Max here. Spoiler warning for a movie from 79. Towards the end of, uh, Mad Max 1. Uh, our boy gets fucking kneecapped, and in all the subsequent movies, he wears a, uh, a brace on his left leg. You know, so he can walk. And they're starting to see the value of sticking to roads. Oh, 
okay. surprises and wait for the righteous you'd best believe hmm. no fine Ugh. Uh, yeah it's right back up there full circle What's the purpose of these camps? Oh, a crew, pumped from the very crowd, and set in convoys to be refined in gasoline and gas town. I say we ran out of fuel, but of course the planet didn't literally run entirely out of fuel. It was just a resource war. Warcryer's sole purpose is to rally a camp and escalate its occupants to a battle-ready frenzy. Once buffed, the occupants in the area become more dangerous. Eliminate the Warcryer to remove the war buff. Can I tag that guy? No. Gates defended. Oh! Flame pipe. As part of a camp's perimeter defenses, a flame pipe defends the main entrance of a camp with an extremely damaging wall of fire. To eliminate it, track down its fuel source and destroy it. If allowed to become buffed, the fire will kill almost instantly. Honestly, you would think flamethrowers would be less popular in the uh, post-scarcity apocalypse. They are all over the goddamn place in Mad Max. That's not even the right... Mm. seeing anything else. I'm barely even seeing any mans. Maybe everyone's out for Taco Tuesday. Actually, no, I guess this is going up on Monday. I am filming this on Friday, which, by the way, happens to be February the 14th. Hope Sniper out front. Hope you all had a happy Valentine's That's Day. All. Camp Sniper. As part of a camp's perimeter defenses, a camp sniper uh, scans the wasteland for potential threats. They are capable of detecting intruders from a great distance and are, are deadly at short and long ranges. If allowed to... Don't drift away. If allowed to become buffed, a sniper will fuck fire more frequently and with better accuracy. So if both of these things are buffed, then you're fucked before you even get in the door. How do I kill this man? I have to wait for him to go outside to take a piss and then just throw him off a building. I mean, uh, off a cliff, rather. I don't see any buildings. Camp perimeter. The camp perimeter is often guarded by various defenses. and approaching the camp, these defenses will then become alerted. If the alert meter gets full, the defenses protecting the camp will become buffed, which will make them significantly more dangerous. What? Your spies think? Camp is light defenses. I'll deal with them before entering. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, nothing our sweet magnum opus cannot handle. For me, this being February 14th means that it's been two years since I had that surgery. It took me uh, off the channel for a big chunk of time. The side of my face never did re uh, recover feeling after that. Shame. Lead slinger. Most brains exit the skull without knowing what happened. Most bodies hit the ground corpsed. Gaston can afford to arm her war boys well. Scortus elite snipers, or lead slingers, are armed with very accurate scoped rifles and plenty of ammo, courtesy of faraway bullet farm. Weapons like this do not fall into the hands of just anyone. Lead slingers are used to protect Scrotus', Scrotus as many interests, camps, convoys, scarecrows, etc., from afar, creating a dangerous perimeter around them. 
Lead slingers will shoot at anything they do not recognize, be it an armored car or a walking human. Lead slingers are dealt with from a far eastern own weapon of choice, a high-powered, long-ranged rifle. Evade in the reflection from the scope flashes red. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I thought that uh, the shotgun was the only gun in this game. It's gonna be great. Oh god, how do I do this? Uh -huh. You're dead, son. Now the guy. The tank is being played from. We'll rip it off. Harpoon awaiting your command. Okay, harpoon it is. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Much weaker backwards than forwards. Hmm. Oh, shit! Oh, I thought I wedged it. I thought I wedged the magnum opus. Oh, I see. I have to get out on foot and go kill everyone. Wait, what? History, relic, insignia, and scraps. Oh, just to make sure I can't go around. No, I can't get in there. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's an invisible wall there, even if I'm right in the middle. Fair. Don't stray. Getting close to a war crier, he'll become alerted. If the alert meter becomes full, the nearby fighters will become buffed, making them more dangerous. Go to shut him up. Oh god, damn it. Now where were we? Ah! Oh shit, I'm getting my ass kicked. Yeah, but what about me? That was a bitch slap more than a punch. The black on black is gone. They left nothing. Oh. Oh, fuck. Will I... Will I ever come back? Sorry about that. Shit. I don't know what to make of that. Gotta get to that pump and destroy it. I mean, I really don't know what to make of that. Uh, uh, Max had a son, not a daughter. He had a wife named Jesse, and they had a baby boy. Much younger than that girl. I don't even know what he was called, since he only ever referred to him as Sprog. I have seen the child referred to on the internet as Sprog Rakotansky, but I... Happen to know that Sprog is Australian slang for child, so who knows? Oh, we have to. Nice. Storm's rising. Fuck. Oh. You go away! I can't read the thing! God damn it. Murdered! <laughs> that 
pump and destroy it. I suddenly have full health. Do I have the thing? Yes, I do. Warcryer. Scrotus watches over you. Scrotus smiles at he who maims. Warcryers are selected for their ability to ignite and inflame battle rage and their brethren on the ground. A Warcryer's sole purpose is to rally a camp and escalate its inhabitants to a battle-ready frenzy. Once suitably motivated, the occupants in the area become more dangerous, carried by the voice of their crier, who perform feats of violence previously unheard of. A Warcryer is suspended above the battle arena, making him vulnerable to shotgun and thunder stick attacks. Find and break their winch to send them crashing to the ground. Noted. What? Oh, that again. Yeah, there's nothing in there. You want a that one works. War boy. I'm a war boy of Scrotus, faster than any pup. You'll see. Bloodied war pups that have proven themselves in the battlefield earn the right and honor to be called war boys. They are accomplished in battle and are able to read combat situations better, often evading and countering attacks. While these make up the bulk of Scrotus's army, War boys are still low in stature. They compensate for this by beating and bullying war pups any chance they get. Yeah, that sounds about right. Extremely evasive enemies. Your best bet is to be patient. Parry any oncoming attacks and counter quickly before they regain composure. The shoulder charge will catch them off guard and cause them to stumble. Be fast with the follow-up, though, since they recover qu quickly. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and guess he kills them. Stop that. I was beating this man. Can't you tell you are beneath my notice? Holy crap! That's really loud, you guys. Wow! I don't even know if you guys can hear me right now or not. I thought I saw an item pop up. Aha! I knew I forgot something back here. What is happening? Okay. that jabber boy. Oh. Scrotus guides my shanks. Rudd's gonna gush and dribble like a bust carburetta. <laughs> I'm sure he means carburetor, but, uh... Hmm. War boys are trained in the arts of war since childhood. Some who show special abilities with knives are chosen to become the lethal jabber boys. They are feared for their skill with razor-sharp shivs. The jabber boys consider themselves an esteemed elite among their peers and carry themselves with a swagger usually reserved for those higher up in the hierarchy. 
Simple brawling tactics are effective in confronting low numbers, but Jabber Boys are natural pack hunters and seldom fight alone. Facing many Jabber Boys, it is advisable to try and defeat them using a melee weapon. Don't forget to duck and weave to avoid those blades. I don't like that they look exactly like the regular War Boys. The only difference is that they have knives, and they just added that for flavor. Shit, and there is the timer! That was kind of awesome, Max. Oh, shit. I don't think I was actually meant to... Mm. Oh, shit. I see they like the misfits. I don't know if I can wait the storm out, or if, uh, it's just going to end at a scripted moment, or what. Oh, shit. Well, that could have been really, really bad. Him again. Fucking... I'm gonna guess it was whoever said I wasn't ready. My bad. Honestly, I uh, need to end the video, but I don't. Ne also, need to end the session, and I don't know where it will load me. This generator isn't even plugged in anything. That's really wasteful. Are you fucking kidding me? There's no such thing as full. It's the apocalypse. I just realized I'm walking through oil. What am I... Ooh. Oh. Let me not stand in the oil while I do this. Okay, so screen grab, that's how I'm doing here. I'm going to call it here and see where it loads me and what condition I'm in. If I have to redo this whole camp, that won't be the end of the world, but it will inform me for the future. So, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Mad Max. Who knows, maybe we'll find that nice jacket that they stole from him. <laughs> Later!